So turning now to look at the keyboard layout as our next feature to consider. There are three ways that the keyboard can be laid out. You've got QWERTY, ABC or frequency layout. Knowing what your experience is with computers or what, what sort of layout of the alphabet you prefer will help you choose which one that you're likely to prefer. An easiest way is to have a look at some different apps and resources and see how easy it is for you to locate the letters that you're looking for. This will probably give you the best idea of what sort's right for you. QWERTY layout on the left here is good for if you're using your fingers to type on a screen or on a physical machine and if you're familiar from this perhaps because you've used computers before. The keyboard can also be arranged in ABC, so alphabetical order. This is helpful for some people and you might find that you can start to find your way around to locate letters really easily. However, some people, if you're more used to typing with QWERTY, can find it actually takes a bit of time to find the particular letters that they want when they're in ABC. Frequency layout we've included on the right here and this is when the most frequently used letters of the alphabet are clustered together. This is unlikely to be the best layout for you if you're going to be using your hands to type on a resource um, because it is more commonly used if you're using an alternative access method. But we just wanted to show it here because it is likely that it's something that you're going to come across when you're looking at different resources.